Um, not only that, so I, I can't imagine what we could break down in that. Um, but wait, what? What? You will meet a very special member of Rod's family. <laughs> what? What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we are here for the final new news for Ice Cream 3 before it finally comes out because it is coming out this week. I am excited. There's so many things to break down. There's so many things to uncover. We're going to look at this trailer and we're going to kind of open it up a little bit so we can get a little bit more information. So if you've seen it, we're going to open it up a little bit more. I am excited because Ice Cream 3 is going to mean some new stuff. I want to make some new songs if you guys are still interested. Um, new songs. We're going to go in. We're going to break the game. We're going to glitch. It. So I guess before we start click subscribe uh, Eat a sandwich <laughs> it's, Hey, you, you subscribe, but you didn't eat a sandwich. You can't watch the video Sorry <laughs> Nevertheless, we're gonna break this thing down. So um, I guess let's just get into it So the video starts with that amazing intro from uh, Kiplarians look at that. It is just so good And it's so, actually you know what I noticed it's like the same um, type of computer that we see in ice cream 3 or actually in Ice Cream 2, it's the same type of like boxy, creepy computer from like the 80s. Oh man, I, did, I just barely noticed that now. It's crazy. But the video goes on and it shows the amazing fan art of what Rod would look like if he took off his mask. And I would say that is the creepiest smile I've ever seen. If Rod looked like that, I bet you you'd be like, keep the mask on, please, buddy. I do not want to see your face. And nevertheless, we get to start with one of the most coolest things that I can ever say um, is part of like a mobile horror game is the music. Ice Cream 2 had one of the most amazing tracks. It kind of sounded like Stranger Things, if you remember. But in Ice Cream 3, we get a new song, I guess either called Michael Shadow, right? Or it's by a guy named Michael Shadow? I, I don't know, but I'm thinking maybe that's the name of the song, Michael Shadow. Oh, you know what's probably? Mike, right? That's probably his name, Mike. Michael, so, so Michael Shadow is like his full name. So I guess this is Mike's song and, um, ooh, listen to that. That sounds so cool. It's like, it's got that like 80s, like it's that, that cool like EDM style. Like, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, that is so nice. The music for ice cream is just so good and I'm excited. So this is, we're, this is like a little bit of an extra taste of all the news that we're gonna see today, um, but it is nice. So um, the video goes on and we're gonna be breaking this down. So it's not just like me watching the video. Um, we get to see this new concept art for the multiplayer game and it actually looks very familiar, right? Like, look at this. This looks like a very familiar scene and this is going to be for the multiplayer game, which encompasses Evil Nun, Mr. Meat and Ice Cream as like a whole thing together. And so this is very telling of like what's gonna come. So if we go into the classroom, does this not look very similar, right? We're in the bullying scene right now where Rod gets bullied and this looks a lot like probably what the multiplayer game is gonna look like. So it's cool. I'm gonna try to compare everything and bring everything kind of to life for this, um, I guess, uh, news video, the new news, the new news. And if you see this, right? I guess if you were telling a story by looking at a picture, what would this story, I guess, tell? Like what happened in here? Like it, it kind of reminds me of like a zombie apocalypse where kind of just like everybody gets up at once and kind of just leaves, right? But that's not what happens in any of the games. So it's kind of creepy. Did like the nun or Rod come into one of these classrooms and just start like wrecking havoc and running around so that everybody had to just like, you know, scoot their chairs out and start running around in like mayhem? I don't know. What kind of story does this tell you? Every picture tells a story. And I'm just gonna guess that maybe, I would say the nun walks in and it's just like, bah, she's got her hammer and she's just like, it's time to pay. <laughs> right? But the most important thing here is number one on their update, which shows that next Friday, which is this Friday, um, the game, Ice Cream 3, is going to be released. And everybody's been telling me, Dad Blake, do you know that the game is going to re uh, be released on the 14th? Well, apparently, no. It's going to be released a day before on... None other day than Friday the 13th, which is the creepiest day to release like a horror video game, right? Um, what is it? Kepler goes on to explain a lot of stuff that I want to break down and I'm excited and I know you're gonna get excited too. So the first thing we get to see is that it says the game will be longer than a normal ice cream. Isn't that insane, right? So um, we've had this game kind of being um, developed over the past, I guess, like months. 
And it's gonna be longer than the normal ice cream, meaning that there's gonna be more cutscenes, there's gonna be more explanations, stories gonna get figured out. We're like, we're gonna get so much. And we're gonna get all these new locations that we broke down in the previous new news videos, right? Um, we're gonna have a camp, we're gonna have a mall, we're gonna have to do a lot of stuff. And you know, for our channel, Dak Blake, you know, everybody in the Dak Pack, isn't it insane how, like, you know how we break games and play it differently? There's going to be so much to just have fun with, right? Create our own little stories, go around and break things that we're not supposed to be broken, find little areas that we're not supposed to go in. We can, like, move into a shop and take it our own. This is going to be insane. And because this is longer than a normal ice cream, we're going to get so much to do. Um, and I think not only that, we go in, we actually get to see what the campsite looks like. And oh my gosh, look at this. Look at how good that looks. So in the past videos, we were like, okay, what is this thing going to look like? I was like, maybe it's going to look like the stall um, or something like that, where maybe it's kind of like familiar, but this looks completely different. And that's insanely good. Everybody loves completely different stuff. And look at this. We have a campsite of what I can imagine would be a local area. And we get to see everything. We have little watchtowers up here, which is kind of creepy, but we have one cabin, two cabins, which I can imagine would be kind of like the headquarters or like, you know, one person or one headmaster person stays here you know another camp leader stays here and then these were all the like the kids stay and i don't think any other people would be there because this game i don't know th th this game could change where it could be like a bunch of people but i can imagine this is just an empty campsite where i guess rod has done his like evilness on everybody <laughs> i just realized right now that this that made no sense rod stop doing your evilness on all these kids stop being so evil <laughs> so and then it also goes on to say there will be many cinematic sequences plus eight <laughs> wait a minute so um i haven't really got to even uh see a lot of this i remember um what is it in the previous game so ice cream 2 We've had, what is it, the bullying scene? We have the scene where we come back to the school and Rod is talking to himself. Um, but those are kind of only the real cutscenes. I mean, other than like traveling from city to city and then the beginning cutscene, we only get three in a game, really. So to get plus eight, that it's like a movie. We're getting like a full movie to watch within this mobile game, right? <laughs> so, oh my gosh. So, um, not only that, so I, I can't imagine what we could break down in that. Um, but wait, what, what? You will meet a very special member of Rod's family. <laughs> what? I gotta drink some water. You're telling me that we're finally gonna meet somebody <laughs> that Rod is like a family member with. So we've been doing a lot of knockoffs and stuff, right? Um, and we've been doing like, oh, Rod's grandpa. We've had Rod's sister. We've had Rod's brother. So to meet a very special member of Rod's family, is not gonna just be like, oh, Rod's cousin or Rod's daughter-in-law. It's gonna be like a close family member. They call that the nuclear family. And I think it's gonna be either, so it's not his dad because you know, you know his dad, is dead um and now rod is wearing his mask because rod is evil but we might meet a brother we might meet a sister i i don't know if they're gonna be like normal right they're like what if we meet like a sister and she's like oh no is rod don't tell me he's doing the whole ice cream thing again and we're like yeah why <laughs> you know like oh my gosh there's so much that could happen i i don't even know what to expect that's like the fun of it all i don't know what to expect and i am excited so um i can only imagine unexpected help will come to you a letter from your mother hold on hold on wait hold on we might meet his mother so if we listen to this you will meet a very special member of rod's family but then we listen to rod's voice oh, line listen an unexpected help will come to you a Un letter from your mother in oh, which she will finally tell you something important so pay attention kid you're gonna be just Ooh. fine. Ooh, okay. So, I don't know if this is a little secret or a little hint, but they just played that um, cutscene that we saw in Ice Cream 2, which is a letter from your mother in which she will finally tell you something important. We, I mean, I know that that's like kind of like the jumping off point where Rod becomes evil. You can even see it in his face, right? You can see the little, little, little evil face forming on young Rod's face. But it says a letter from your mother, right? Are we gonna talk to Rod's mother? 
is Rod's mother gonna be the one that we get to talk to and she's gonna be telling us like you know what I accidentally turned him evil I didn't mean to you're gonna have to stop him I'll help you in any way possible or is she gonna be like even more evil are we gonna have to stop her now I don't know I don't know what to think so here we are in the stall once more now we get to explore a little bit actually what do you guys think is gonna be in the new stall um, if we're looking at this, I remember in our last update videos, um, we were talking about how the stall has changed and from ice cream one to ice cream two, this whole thing got a bunch new stuff in the background. We got like trees in the background. Everything just feels more alive. I wonder if the difference between ice cream one and ice cream two is going to be the difference between ice cream two and ice cream three. Like, if, is there going to just be like such a different game that like ice cream two is going to look like eh, it's lame. Like, look at ice cream three now. Ice cream three is the game. So um, what we could do is I have the outwit mod right here and we can go and add in a bunch of little shapes and stuff to kind of treat it like it was the camp. You know, like the ones that we saw in the video, we can kind of add some stuff, I think. So I don't know what we'd add. I, I don't even know how I would make a tent because all of the, the only shapes we have to choose from are capsule cylinder quad sphere plane and cube i don't there's no like triangle and i can't really angle anything like that so like maybe cube is the best we just have cube tents it's cubular you know so we're just gonna make our giant cubed tent and uh you know what let's make it like a different color we'll make it yellow kind of like the tents that we saw before look at that that's a beautiful tent it's kind of dark outside but you know what that's camping we're gonna camp in this giant tent so just from this i can imagine that how it works is maybe if we go to the camping area what we're gonna have to do is kind of break down maybe some story element of what's going on so in the beginning we've already established that mike is gonna be captured and liz is gonna be captured leaving us with only me which would be Jay and Charlie. We only have two people to go and save two people and we're facing off against one of the most evil people, Rod, and his whole empire of crazy magical ice cream that turns you chubby. So you know what it is? It's probably a story element. Like, Rod loves capturing people, right? And he likes only capturing people who are chubby to turn them into ice cream that turns other people chubby. So what I'm thinking is maybe we, um, he went to a campsite to go and kidnap people, right? But he accidentally left one of his keys. He dropped a key that he used to lock up other people. And so so we have to go and visit the campsite in order to find the key and so maybe while he was capturing somebody he went into the you know one of the tents and he tried to free somebody but all of a sudden one of his keys fell off and maybe maybe we have to find a key in one of the uh what is it tents so we'll have to go around looking going through the tents but all the while he's probably following us knowing that we know he left a key somewhere and that's going to be kind of maybe what the campsite has it's probably gonna have more stuff but you know what? that kind of makes sense right i mean come up with your own little story of how it would tie together but i think so right and i guess now seeing the visual of it all it kind of helps to kind of see like if we go into the tent we can see keys or maybe you know if we go into a tent it kind of leaves us vulnerable because then rod could just corner us but nevertheless, this is also exciting. This is the final update, right? It feels weird. The final update before the game actually comes out. So there's going to be no more new news until, I guess, Ice Cream 4 starts to be developed. So it's kind of, you know, it's sad to see the new news go, but I'm excited because we're going to be doing a bunch of new videos. So if you guys are interested in seeing a new song, leave it down in the uh, comments. I'm, I'm telling you to leave a lot of stuff down in the comments. There's going to be so many comments. But nevertheless, I am excited. I hope you're excited too. Make sure to subscribe. To become part of the DAG pack, click that notification bell and you'll be notified every single time we do stuff. I try to make crazy and unique videos so that, you know, you don't just see another like gameplay video. We're doing something unique every single time. So, um, I guess I'll see you in that next video. Um, we're doing a lot of crazy stuff this week and this week is going to be ice cream three so are you guys pumped are you guys pumped let's uh let's go and have some fun so a new video is probably coming up right now i'll see you in that next one thank you guys for watching and as always peace out my dudes